Now, for those of you out there tuning in to see my live State of the Union show, this isn't it. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be tonight. Uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi told Trump she would not invite him into the House of Representatives to give the State of the Union until after the government reopened. It now has. So they set a new date one week from tonight, February 5th, and we will be live here at the Ed Sullivan Theater next Tuesday at 1135, unless I break my foot, in which case we'll just air the dress rehearsal from Rent. <laughs> you know, Trump's, uh, Trump's State of the Union is going to be loaded with scary things to try to convince us to build his wall. Trump is already testing out the horror stories. For instance, that a rancher found prayer rugs by the border, immigrants have stronger, bigger, faster vehicles than our police have, and that women are tied up with duct tape on their faces and put in the backs of vans. That is a scary and disturbing image, and as of Friday, he's made 10 references to it in 22 days without anyone knowing exactly where he got it from. <laughs> Although, I happen to know exactly where Trump got his information. It's from the Homeland Immigration Study on Asylum Support Statistics, or his ass. But, yeah. Very comprehensive. Very comprehensive study, John. Comprehensive study in there? Very comprehensive study. I didn't read study. that, and I'm not going But there was to. one place where all of these stories actually did occur. The 2018 movie Sicario, Day of the Soldado, which internet sleuths have realized contains scenes of duct tape women, super strong immigrant cars, and border agents finding prayer rugs. So Trump maybe just got all these ideas from movies. <laughs> I'm telling you, little boys are sneaking aliens in with flying bicycles. <laughs> these aliens are coming here to steal our precious Reese's pieces. <laughs> We must build a wall out of vibranium slats. Otherwise, we'll be overrun by crazy rich Asians. <laughs> and, and I can't believe I'm saying this. Green books. Green book, everybody. <laughs> no, it's true. People don't believe this. Green book. <laughs> a lot of people are lining up to challenge Trump, like former Starbucks CEO and oldest high school student at Glamour Shots. <laughs> Howard Schultz. Schultz is considering running for president as a centrist independent, which is the politically correct term for most obnoxious guy at the dinner party. <laughs> I think most Americans just want to find a middle ground between baby cages and not baby cages. <laughs> baby handcuffs? <laughs> now, you may be wondering what a centrist independent believes, and you're going to keep wondering, because when Schultz was asked what he thought the corporate tax rate should be, he said, I don't want to talk in the hypothetical about what I would do if I was president. <laughs> That's literally the only thing you're supposed to be doing while running for president. What? Instead of yes, we can, it's what will we? <laughs> now, a lot of Democrats... What will we? What will we? What will we? What will we? Wow. Wow. You gotta love... You gotta love an obedient mob, I gotta tell you. A lot of Democrats are upset with Schultz, including this heckler at a New York Barnes & Noble. I am seriously considering running for president as a centrist independent. And I wanted to clarify the word independent, which I view uh, merely as a designation on the ballot. <laughs> Don't help elect Trump, you egotistical billionaire. Hey, watch yourself now. That is the angriest I've seen someone at a Starbucks employee <laughs> since my half calf, tall, skinny caramel macchiato came back with that whip. Are you deaf or are you evil? <laughs> My name isn't stated. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me how money makes people think they know things they don't know. This is a guy, maybe a nice guy, maybe a smart guy, I don't know him, but he made his money giving confusing fancy new names to already established cup sizes. <laughs> and then cake pops. Next natural step, give me the launch codes. So it's no surprise that Schultz has met with some resistance because nobody has ever been in a Starbucks bathroom and thought, the guy in charge of this should be in charge of everything. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.